Hello, Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, what was that? Oh, the Six of Cups. Someone, same, someone may be wanting to come back or share how they're feeling or share love, share. It could be a Cancer. It could be someone who's coming towards you right now. And again, it doesn't have to be reconciliation. It could be someone who, again, wants to express how they're feeling or talk to you or just catch up, you know, see how you're doing. Go out for coffee, go out for a drink. Okay, other person is excited. I wasn't meaning to take two. I just wanted one, but they came out together. Or, oh, I'll take him. Yeah, so there's definitely feelings here. Could have been something that was kind of working in the past, or I don't know. He looks a little irritated, but there's definitely a connection here between the two of you. So again, this might be reconciliation for some of you. Uh, let me go to what has led up to this. What has led up to this? Nine of Cups, a wish fulfilled. Okay. Under the deck right now is the Five of Coins. So you may be coming from a place of being kind of unhappy. Maybe that Nine of Wands I just saw. Maybe you're irritated with other people, other things, your job. Maybe not necessarily this person. This could be someone you do know, or it could be something brand new or sort of new, or the person you're dealing with. You're just, it feels like you're, you guys are really getting along. Or you're going to. You're going to find out that you guys have a lot in common. Someone may be traveling to see you during the holidays coming up here also, or you to them. We have the death card and the uh, devil. I want to say the star for some reason. So Scorpio Capricorn. That's like the ending of a toxic relationship. I'm going to take one more. So some may have gotten a divorce. Some may have left something. Some may have ended a bad habit. And now they're coming in to see if, how you're feeling. If you want to get together or work things out or talk about things. or What is this energy over here though? Nine of coins, the two of cups. Wow. So whoever this is on your side, and for some reason I felt that, like this was you. It's like you're ready. You're ready, you're available, you're a great catch, you're happy, you're open to this, you're really attracted to this person. You might feel a soulmate connection with this person or you're just open and ready for that type of connection. What is the Nine of Cups that's led up to this point? What is the Nine of Cups? So we have Three of Cups and the Eight of Coins. Of course, it could be working together. You like working with this person, they like working with you or something, or you guys get along, you have a hobby or something really fun. I'm getting, um, someone went to the one of those paint, sip, was it sip and paint? Um, so I don't know if you've done that or you're going to do that, how you met them or something. Could be doing that with friends. Could also be talking with friends, Nine of Cup gossiping. I hear the sirens. I'm sorry. They're going to come by. They're going to be very loud. Okay. This person has a Six of Swords energy and you have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just say this right now. I feel like you have much better energy than they do right now. I feel like you may be spending time with friends or just doing things you like or <sighs> there might be something to be cautious about because the sirens are going off. Except they just stopped. This person here feels like they're getting out of a situation or they're leaving something or bad. They're kicking a bad habit. They're slowly moving on. For some of you, this person may have a drug habit, the Four of Cups. It's like they're being offered something over and over. They know it's toxic. They know it's not good. This person may be moving. They may be moving because of that type of environment. They want to get out of a negative environment. It doesn't have to be drugs. I mean, it could be a, a bad marriage. It could be a bad job. It could be anything. It could be cold weather. Someone hates living in the snow. So... They may be moving or something as simple as that. But I will just say this again. Like I feel like you do have this really open, happy energy going into the end of the year. Where's the Six of Swords? So if Eight of Wands and Four of Swords. I kind of feel like it's like they, they did a lot of thinking and decided this is what they're going to do. Or again, it came out that way. So a lot of communication or movement forward, either with you or just in general. They may need to rest afterwards though, but... One more for the Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. Okay, this person's thinking. Okay, this person right here, the energy is like they don't really know what they want specifically. Okay, so it's kind of like they're all over the place. They know they want love. There you are. Maybe you are an ex. Maybe you're someone you do, they do know. All of a sudden it's like, well, let's give this a chance. That's kind of what I'm feeling now all of a sudden. That may be why I'm not too keen on their energy overall compared to yours. What is the Wheel of Fortune? What is the Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Swords, and the Judgment card. Okay, I like the Five of Swords in your energy because it's, it's, I feel like you actually have more control over the situation than you're letting on. You got all these cups over here. You, you got you as a Nine of Coins. I feel like you're just, I feel like you're in a good energy, like I said, but it felt a little bit too, like you may be open for heartache or maybe open, um, you know, open to getting hurt, I should say. And you may not see this coming and I want to make sure we know what this person is doing first. Five of Swords is, is 
Again, this could be an X with the Five of Swords there, so you're not going to take this too fast. You're not going to let them just charge in. You're going to just make sure that they are, you know, on the up and up. Judgment, you're going to let this happen, though, is what I'm seeing here. I get you're excited, though, Five of Swords. What is on the other side of Judgment, though? Wow. Okay, I'm not too worried with the Three of Cups yet. Or, no, maybe, maybe it was. Okay. So... You could have, okay, one, some of you may have been dating this person, there was a third party in the past. Two, this person may have even asked you to marry them or something like that in the past, or there's a big commitment here. May have been a third party, doesn't need to be. Could be celebrating, okay? But this person still is looking back at the past, so they're contemplating. Could be someone else watching. Let me go to their side, okay, before I say anything else. Because you, you know what I'm getting? This person may come in with a big offer out of nowhere. They may not even been thinking about this before they see you during the holidays or see you next week or whenever. Um, they may come in with just a really big offer and you're excited, but at the same time, I feel like you are cautious, optimistically cautious. What is the seven of cups for this person? It's almost like they're like, yeah, let's just get married. Okay, seven of cups wanted to come out again with the six of coin and the page of coin, but I'm not gonna take those yet. What is the Seven of Cups? Yeah, these did want to come out. I knew they would come out. They were supposed to. Yeah. Um, this person is kind of a little bit foolish and a little bit reckless and a little bit careless. I'm just going to say that. Um, they are going to come in, it looks like, and want a new beginning with you. I feel like this person kind of doesn't know what they want. I feel like they like you and they're like intrigued by you, but it needs to take more time to build. The next cards again, seven of wands and nine of swords. They may have a crazy ex involved for someone. Just keep that in mind. I do feel like some of you may be watched by a third person, but it's an ex. But I don't feel like it's going to be that big of a deal in this particular reading. We see. Some of you may have been abandoned by this person before. Like you guys were going to get married. You guys were going to get engaged or something. And they may have just up and left. It's also what kind of I'm getting. Um, what is the potential outcome for this reading? What is the potential? Let me go to the, this deck. I think there's more cards. What is the potential outcome for this reading for this person? Page of Wands is really good communication. Okay. What is the Page of Wands? The Eight of Wands, the Six of Coin, and the Hair of Font. This person says all the right thing, all the right things. They want to work on this, or they have a job now. Maybe they didn't have a job before. Um, they've gotten their act together is kind of what I'm seeing. I feel like, again, you may be keeping a, a sharp eye on this person in the Page of Swords. There's something I feel like is kind of missing here. There's a missing piece of this puzzle. Uh, let me see what's going on with this with the romance deck really quick. Deception. I'm not surprised. Okay, what else? Keep an open mind though. And I, I feel like you already have that. You already finances and career. Okay. Okay, so this right here makes me feel like maybe they might be giving to another person with the Six of Coin. They might be. They might be having to pay for something or give money to someone else that's connected. Um, there's deception here, but I think it may be about their money or their job or something. Because I got, I got pushed to say they're, they work, they're working now. Like they come in and tell you, I'm getting, I'm getting this job or I have this job. But they're lying about something with deception. It doesn't have to be a huge lie. It could be, some of you, it could be total deception or it's something small. But you need to keep an open mind. They may be saying, like, I'm a millionaire when really they just, they just started a new business and they haven't even made their first thousand or something. I don't know. There's something here where this person's very kind of, yeah, I want to say careless. I feel, like I, I feel like I want to say that this person kind of throws caution to the wind and as well as people's feelings and just kind of goes with the flow. You like this person, though. The thing is here is that you like this person. They're fun. They're outgoing. You guys get along. Um, you know their history is what I'm thinking here, and you think you know this person well enough that you kind of overlook some of this behavior because you do know them. Um, they may be a gambler. This could be someone who spends their money and then, like, where'd it go with the Seven of Cups? 
don't give them don't give away grandma's jewelry when picking up or don't give away what was that I don't know why you would but I feel like something something about there's antique jewelry or there's um, expensive I don't get it's ex well it's expensive but it's not new I feel like it's like something that might be pawned or something or don't give them something in hopes that they're telling the truth does that make sense don't give away something that's very valuable a possession that's very very valuable to you whether it's just sentiment it doesn't have to be money but sentimental I don't know I was led to say that too that doesn't make sense to most of you someone some of me pawn it. I'm getting they may pawn it. Some of me pawn a piece of jewelry or something important for money. What is this Seven of Cups? What is this person looking at? Now, it's on their side, so I'm not as worried. If it's on your side, I'd be upset. I'd be like, wait a minute. They just took something of yours. But what is the Seven of Cups? Knight of Coins, the Moon, and the K. All right. Six of Cups. This person is trying to work something out with their money is what I'm getting. And they're in the middle of it. They're, they're not going to necessarily fail, and they're not necessarily lying. They just, they're trying to be methodical, but there's a lot of fears or things behind the scenes you don't know. They may owe a lot of money, um, but they're, they're trying to impress you, and they're tr but they're trying to also do their best. They're trying to win. They're trying to be confident. They're trying to um, make a business, you know, successful. They're trying to, you know, learn how to trade or day trade or something, or, um, sorry for the lighting. Okay, what else do we need to know about this person or relationship? I just get you're kind of you have a watchful eye on this person. That's what I'm getting. What else do we need to know about this person or situation? Okay, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. That might be them. Okay, mirror, mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. And one more, please. And heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Okay, interesting. Healing heart and heart with a key. I feel like you, again, I feel like there's been history with this person. It's going to vary by your situation. I feel like you guys know each other well, though, with mirror. Like, there's something about the two. Obviously, you mirror each other, but again, you guys know what's beneath the surface with this person. Let me get, um, what does this person want to say to you? Let me just pull one from this deck. What does this person want to say to you? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. For some of you, this person did go to rehab. Um, maybe it wasn't recent, but it, but it was sometime in the past. But I get six months they were in rehab for something. Um, but... Others of you, this person left because of maybe another relationship or work. I wonder what this person thinks about you. I want to go deeper to this with this person. So I'm going to extend this one. I want to see what they think and feel about you. What What is the deception? Let me pull this here so I can. What is the deception that they're hiding from you? What do they think and feel about you? What is their true motive and um, intent? Someone right now, I just heard you say we're not talking. So you guys are in no contact. So we can see if they're going to reach out. And if we can get a timeline. Sometimes those are tricky. I think Capricorn, I could, it was hard for me to get one just to come out on YouTube. So we'll see with, with that. But I feel most of you, this person's coming in shortly during the holidays. Thanksgiving, Christmas time is very important. This person's going to do some traveling. And that's when you're going to see this person. I get like hot drinks or, um, you know, like a nightcap or something like that, going out for a drink. But We'll get into that later. All right, so I'm going to leave the link below. Have a really good week, and I'll talk to you soon.